In a land tormented by dragons, a new evil arises. It's lurking around every corner, and only you, the ultimate hero, can face it. Today, we are the unboxing of Aetia, Torment of Resurrection. What's up? This is Adam from Weekly Game Nights and um, today we're gonna do the unboxing video of this beauty called Eutia, the Torment of Resurrection. It's an open world um, strategy competitive RPG game. Um, their authors were hugely influenced by games like Planescape Torment or Baldur's Gate, so the classic RPG um, PC games that you might know. Uh, it's definitely something uh, in my wheelhouse. So I'm hugely excited to do this unboxing. Um, just two things before we jump to the unboxing section. The so first one, um, this game is heavy. It weighs almost six kilograms. So it's the second heaviest game in my collection besides Gloomhaven. So this box is stuffed with content and you're just gonna see how much content there is inside. Uh, in a second and the other things that I wanted to mention probably the more important is that this game is hitting Kickstarter on my the 5th so you know prepare your wallet open your heart because uh, the creators of this game Tadeusz Polska and Marketa Blachowa they deserve all the um, all the uh, money they need to get this product funded so yeah let's just jump to the unboxing section and remember about this Kickstarter launching on Monday, my 5th. So yeah guys, here we are about to open this game. So let me just get rid of this plastic shrink. Mm, the smell of new game, I love it. I love it every time. Okay, so let's open the lid and let's take a look inside. So, first we have the rule book. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's something about this um, uh, paint uh, that I love. Okay, but the rule book. Okay, so as you can see, this rule book is is pretty pretty vast it's 35 pages so i believe there are a lot of rules in this game but as you can see there are also many pictures and many examples which i believe is good and the rule book just just looks good yeah it looks definitely like a modern board game um rule book so yeah, this is the rule book. Here we have the appendix. So we have even more, I guess, rules. Yeah, we have um, we have uh, rules breakdown for tokens, for cards, for like potions, scrolls, and uh, probably skills and stuff like that. So I believe you won't get lost in this game because. There is another 23 um, pages that you can refer to while you are looking for a um, description of how the token works and when you can use it and um, other information. So yeah, this is the rule book and I love the dragon graphics, it's great. And we get to the heroes. We get to the heroes, this is how they look. We also have some tokens like the bigger one. Here we have some minor tokens. <clears throat> and guess what? Even more tokens, but first tiles um, of the map. And I wanted to show it to you how, how good they look, because it was the first element that caught my attention. Um, it was these tiles, because they sort of remind me of Mage Knight or Heroes of Might and Magic, but, you know, um, the whole um, design, whole art concept is great, it's just great. So, 
Yeah, more tokens incoming. Whoa, and here we have the first player board. It's um, it's a board of Kalea, the the girl hero. Uh, you can see the equi equipment over here. Probably uh, probably life over here or something. Uh, I don't know because I haven't read uh, read, read the rulebook yet. Um, and it looks good. It's on um, it's on white carton, so I believe it's sturdy um, and it's quite big. More tokens, more tokens. Okay, this was nice. Fill <laughs> in the box. Okay, we have more tokens incoming here. More map tiles. You can see some portals, mountains, some ruins, um, some elemental field. Yeah, it's great. Okay, another hero board. And more tokens. Oh, the mining token caught my attention because one of the things you can do in this game is mining. So not only it's not only about exploration or fight, it's also about mining and you can, you know, get new stuff from this kind of mechanic. And yeah, we have some more map tiles. And another hero. Okay, this one is something I would I would definitely like. This is the mage, and I always like to play as a mage, so yeah. This looks so, like something for me. Okay, more mm, hero tokens. Map tiles. And, and um, if you have the, uh, if, if, you, if you can spot it, um, there is little to none room left so this box is, you know, stuffed to the to the every side of it. Okay, here we have some uh, some containers for tokens and other stuff, and a big dice. I believe it's the biggest dice I have seen it's in a board game. So yeah, this this dice is that big, and it looks pretty nice. Three. Another hero. Another hero. Hero tokens. And map tiles. And this is, I believe, the last hero. The last hero, Drow. Kind of barbarian type. Drow. Yeah. Okay. And now we get to the to the um, higher level map tile because uh, I think as you progress you're gonna draw the um, more um, the higher tier uh, map tiles uh, and this is this is the number this is number over here and I believe they're gonna be harder to you know to to enter so you need to level up uh, because this game has a beautiful leveling up mechanic and you're gonna need to level up to to get to the to the harder part of the of the um, entire um, kingdom. Okay, we have more map tiles over here. Oh my god, this looks great. For example, this I believe church or monastery. This looks great. Yeah. We, need, we have more map tiles, more um, more tokens. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, just looking uh, on this on this map, um, I, I feel I wanna play it. I wanna play it. It looks way better than Mage Knight. So this is this is uh, this is good. Great job, great job. <laughs> okay. More map tiles and more tokens. Okay, we're getting there, we are somewhere in the middle of the box, mm, okay, more map tiles, and what do we have?
have here it's also the map title, some kind of fortress um, Wildlands, yeah, this is great I wanna be there As you can see, I'm taking another another sheet of carton, sheets of carton um, with map tiles. So there's a plenty of them inside. I believe you're gonna uh, once you once you uh, once you play this game, uh, you're gonna have huge replayability uh, just because of the different terrains you can you can get into, and of course different actions you can take there. Okay, so more map tiles, what well, more? tokens this is the first one punched out oh maybe I will show it yeah this is how it looks okay guess what even more map tiles and tokens okay here is another here's another map tile Carton. Okay. Hmm. This one is nice. Oh my god, I think I have never seen so many cardboards inside of a single um, board game. So, yeah. Um, I wonder who's gonna put this, all these tokens into the boxes. I must find someone to do this because it's not the part that I particularly like to do. Okay. Okay. Which level is this? Second and the first. Okay. Oh, and that's it for map finals, I guess. And here we have it. So, um, uh, so... Combat cars, um, cardboard. This is how it looks. Okay, here is the progression progression um, pile, I guess. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I guess. Probably some points or levels here. Yeah, it looks great. Um, here is the... Actually, I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. Dragon Slayer Towers, Alchemist Merchants. Okay, okay. Oh, here is the scoring board. Here is the scoring board. board. Um, looks pretty well. Yeah, more tokens. But these tokens are the tokens that I uh, especially like in RPG games because I like scavenging, I like crafting, I like to uh, kill monster and fight and equip new stuff. And here you can see a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. Um, you can see um, skills, you can see um, equipment. So you're gonna see a lot of this in this game. So let me just proceed. Okay, maybe, maybe um, with the dices, more dices. Okay, so more skills, more um, uh, more equipment, uh, more uh, magic. This is what I love. Okay, here we have hero holders. Guess what? Um, yeah. Um, more tokens with different with different skills. Just look how many there is on one cardboard. Oh, and this is something I believe you can mine. Okay, here we have equipment, but it looks like some dragon made equipment or something like that, I guess.
and here we have more equipment, some potions, probably healing potions and other um, potions. Um, let me just punch out one, one tile to show you how it looks like. It is, um, I think, pretty well made. And we have more, even more, um, even more tokens. Uh, this one's, I think it's rings tokens. Something you probably might find there. Yeah, this is how it looks. Uh, let me just punch one, okay, this one. Uh, this one potion. Um, okay, maybe this one. One potion. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, um, more, more um, tokens, more tokens. We are getting to the bottom of this. So even more tokens over here. Okay, more, more gear, more stuff to equip. Yeah, I'm gonna love this. Double, double cardboard. Okay. So, tokens, more tokens, oh, this is the, this is the mm, stones you can find in the game, like onyx, sapphire, amethyst, or even diamond. We are almost at the bottom, some kind of pouch, some kind of mine, more probably healing. Um, potions. And we got to the... No, not yet. Oh, I thought we got to the bottom, but not yet. Okay, so even more tokens with stuff, with equipment. I wonder how long the setup of the game is gonna take. And once I do the playthrough, I will let you know how long was the setup for this game. Because there are so many elements. Which is great, which is great. Uh, can I get this out or not? Oh, this one is fighting. Okay, here we go. Okay, and it's the last, it's the last um, um, cardboard with tokens. And on one cardboard, on one cardboard you have like, you can just count it. 3, 7 by 5, so it's 35 tokens on one cardboard and I believe there was about like 10 cardboard sheets so you know there is a lot of stuff in this box and it's this game so we are left with 3, with 3 cards um, containers so let's just, let's just see what do we have here Okay, we have some kind of fortress. Okay, some kind of fortress with, with I guess, encounters or other actions. You might see there. Okay, or even the quests. It's also divided by levels, as you can see in the uh, upper left corner. Okay. What do we have here? Some kind of um, reward card for oh, for slaying probably a lizard warrior. Okay. So a lot of cards. They are they are done pretty nice. Okay. There is some kind of soul control mechanic over here. Over here. Okay. So this was the first. This was the first uh, part of cards. What do we have here? <clears throat> okay. More cards with probably quests or actions you can take. Yeah, maybe I will turn it around. Okay, some Nice cards. And some, 
uh, even more on dice cards. And yeah, there, is, there are these building cards that you're probably gonna use while doing something there. Bring a demon stone to the adventurer, okay? This looks cool. This looks cool. Okay. And let me get to the third a part of the cards. I don't know how many cards there is, but there is definitely a lot of them here. some cool equipment over here yeah it looks nice definitely okay and I don't know what that is but um, probably some uh, depending on the level I guess maybe uh, there are different um, actions about these elementals over here because I believe these are elementals, yeah? Like water, fire, earth, and um, air. Okay. Okay, oh, and we got to the dragons. I don't know if it's spoiler or not, but this is how the dragon looks like. What's on the other side? Oh yeah, this is the rewards for slaying it, probably. Okay. Okay, so you have different cards for different dragons. Um, because this one is different. You see? And there's a reward for that. So, yeah, we got to the bottom of the box. There is a lot of content inside, so I believe um, this is gonna play out great. And this is the back cover of the box. Um, just to just to you know uh, read you, this game is one to four players, uh, 14 years or or more, uh, 60 to 120 minutes per player uh, in a game. So that's quite a lot, but it's something you would expect from the game like um, from the RPG. Um, game. Mm. Um, as you can see, they are saying that there is modular tile based map. Um, leveling up, about, it's all about building your characters. There are three game modes. Um, there are three game modes, and for some of you, and I have one friend who is especially uh, about this, there is also solo mode um, for um, this game. Um, and uh, yeah, this is it. Mm. So uh, let me get to the finishing section of this um, unboxing. I hope you like it. <sighs> So yeah, this is it. Uh, as you have seen, this game is huge. Um, and remember, uh, its creators need you because this game is going to Kickstarter on May the 5th and they're gonna have some beautiful stretch goals over there so it can become um, uh, it can become even bigger and even better. And also they will have a version with plastic miniatures so you can replace your cardboard miniatures with the plastic one, which I will definitely do. Um, so yeah, just, just go and support them because they deserve this. Thanks for watching and until the next time, bye!